Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels, so today is Friday. That means we're using Magic Scepters. Let's go ahead and get a couple victories with this deck. It's, it's easy, just go ahead and sit back, relax, and just win with this deck, you know? You, I really don't have much complaints when it comes to using this deck. Not at all, not at all. So, well, yeah, let's just get it started. And to tell you the truth, instead of actually tributing off my Magic Scepter, I'm thinking about just, you know, taking it slow. Maybe increasing, I don't know, I don't know. Because I don't, I really don't... This hand, I don't want to go the extra deck. I'd rather just go ahead and stay in control. So I'm thinking about just playing Moon Mirror Shield because I think he knows that I want to tribute my Fox, but I really don't. So, ah, fuck it. We'll go ahead and click Moon Mirror Shield. Moon Mirror Shield, very powerful. Clip spell card from Magic Scepters. Of course, I cannot be uh, targeted or destroyed by my opponent's card effects. And then the only way you can really get around me is to battle. And then you're hoping that I use the back, my back row to tribute my monsters to go back to extra deck. And if my Pendulum Scales aren't set up, then I run out of. Uh, I pretty much run out of pace. That's pretty much how the deck goes. It's essentially how the deck goes. So I'm hoping with my non tributing back row, such as Solemn Warning and Bottomless, that I can stay in control of this duel. Okay, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one death spell monster from your deck. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's totally fine, because you can't get over my attack anyway, so... That's totally fine. Yeah. That is fine. I got Eccentric, so that's one of my scales, and as we know, Eccentric's actually a very powerful monster, especially in Magic Scepters. But that Fog King, though, this deck has really not done much lately in the OCG. It's kind of just fell off. You know? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and summon that Despot 4, which is fine. So, when you attack enemies, I mean, sure, you're going to go ahead and go up. And I'm going to go up as well. So, <laughs> I'm just wondering how the order will be. You know, do you go up? The Equip Monster Battle is a monster during damage calculation. So... Wouldn't it go player turn priority? So you go first. I would chain. I would gain your attack. I, I want to see how this goes, just to know how this will go. Because Moon Mirror Shield, I'm going to gain your attack, but then you're going to use your effect. And I believe I'm gaining the attack, your current attack. If the Equip Monster Bottoms opposed Monster Gem Calculation, the Equip Monster's attack becomes equal to the attack of the opponent's balance monster plus 100 during damage calculation only. So is it copying the attack of the 500 right now, or is it going to copy the sending monster? You know what? Even if I lose this duel, I'm actually kind of curious how this is going to go down. So let's, let's go ahead and see. Because you're going to go ahead and send a monster, gain a level, but I'm just going to gain your attack, right? I'm, I just don't know if Moomio Shield is copying your current attack of 500, or is it going to copy your current attack of 2,000? Nope, it copies your attack of 2,000. Okay. That's good to know. Good enough, because of course chain resolves backwards, but I didn't know when I'm copying your attack. Is it when on activation or resolving during the damage calculation after you gained your attack as well? It's a good question, it's a good question. So I'm glad I took the risk. Like I said, if I lost, I lost. You know, like I said, Magic Sectors, I mean, OCG, they're not doing much, really not. Still a little bit inconsistent. Hopefully they get a couple more cards. Uh, you know, really now their monster count's not high enough. Really not. I mean, all their monsters are pretty good, but their monster count just not high enough. Hopefully I go ahead and maybe start get like a, uh, what's it called? What's it called? My fell spell would be nice. Uh, raccoon would be nice. And then some raccoon search. Go ahead and set up my scales, which would also be nice. Like everything would be pretty nice right now. I said with Moon Mirror Shield, there's just not much Despots can do against me. Because like I said, Despots, they are just beating, beating. Oh, there's my fell spell. That's for that. So I'm going to go ahead and play my fell spell. Go ahead and get rid of my fox, summon my raccoon. Uh, then, Linear Shield, I will go ahead and put it on top of my deck, sure. Oh, wait, no, because I'm about to search and shuffle my deck. Hmm. That's a tough one, because I really like my Linear Shield, but I really want to start getting my Pendulum Scale set up and stuff, so... You know what, fuck it. We'll go ahead and play it. Because I'm about to shuffle my deck, because I'm about to search, so... Linear Shield will be like, you want to go on top and bottom, which is, of course, the mandatory fact. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Summon, I don't, yeah. Mirror Shield. So it doesn't really matter, because I'm about to search my deck anyway, so. I'll put it on top, and yes. So does the chain resolve backwards? Do I search and then put it on top of the deck? Because if that's true, then yeah, hell yeah. 
Because I believe chain resolves backwards. Still tell us about the chain. <laughs> Let's learn the chains, people. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put something on top of the deck first. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Uh, go ahead and search me for like a uh, scale two. I guess I'm, I'm I, I, I can pendulum summon back the fox, but I guess I'm not searching with it. Because I, like I said, I really want to draw into my monster, my Umir Shield next turn. So, yeah, just go ahead and get me a lower pendulum scale to go with the eccentric. Then Umir Shield will go on top of the deck. Look at me learning my chains and shit. You know what? I'm just gonna kind of take the duel. I'm thinking about maybe taking the duel slow, but nah, I really shouldn't. You know, I should just go all in. So my pendulum scales, pendulum summon, and all that. Not search with my fox, of course. You got that piece of background? You got some background play. So now I'm definitely in the duel. Got my pendulum scale set up, and once magic setters get their pendulum scale set up, they're essentially uh, at the full potential of the deck. Which is exactly where I want to be. So I could go ahead and tribute my centric to pop, but unless I get a different scale, I'd rather just go ahead and stick with what I got. No. No. No, the opponent's like, what? You don't want to switch for a trap? Like, eh. No, he said, your background doesn't really phase my monsters, so. You know, unless you had Solemn Warning or something, there's not much you can do, so I'm not really worried about your back row. But uh, it's good to have a centric just to clean it up, and then. Alright. Cool. Thanks for uh, targeting your monster with Phoenix Chain. <laughs> cool story, bro. Mm -hmm. You forget about magic scepters that they cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects or destroyed by opponent's card effects. Like, so it can't be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. It's just like, mwah, love it. The Phoenix Chain literally did nothing. See, and that's why Eccentric is good to break out of uh, certain plays that I need to break out of. And then it's good to go ahead, and, if I have a different scale, to recycle it. Like, punch just summon tribute to Puff Monster and... Rinse and repeat, because of course one of the decks that this one of the problems that this deck has thirty figures. So it's a good thing that I do play shit like Moon Mirror Shield because it essentially makes my magic scepters invincible, and I love that. So now I'm totally not afraid to go ahead and play my Tempest to be one of my magic scepter months because I can go ahead and pendulum summon it back next turn. No, and that would not be terrible. Go ahead and Pegasus it up, and I like said essentially this duel is over. Okay, now I'm getting my Moon Mirror Shield back, of course. So I guess I'll go ahead and uh, I got one of my monsters. So I'm gonna get rid of you to go ahead and summon. I guess I'll summon you. No. Yeah. No. Hmm. Cause I'm about to pendulum summon you back, and you're about to get your search on. So and that's always good. Oh fuck it. Summon cat. Get my search on during the end phase, which is always good. Pendulum summon back my raccoon. But like I said, it's interesting. Maybe this deck is just a little bit too slow, a little bit too inconsistent in comparison to the other top decks. You know, Form Agent Pals, just a really great, great uh, you know, pendulum based rank 4 deck. And uh, Monarchs are doing their thing. They're pretty fast and powerful now. And, you know, Burning Abyss, I mean, come on. We saw that coming from a mile away, so that deck is also good. Actually, you know what? Probably should have equipped the fox. Because I'm probably going to use and abuse the shit out of this fucking raccoon. So attack, I gain your stats, whatever's higher. There's a Feg Veiler. Like, wow, Feg Veiler is pretty much useless against me. So, uh, yeah, cool story, bro. I had my turn. Get my search, just keep searching and plusing and search. Give me another raccoon, because I um, don't plan on tributing this raccoon, even though I could, and then Moon Mirror Shield and shit like that. I said the chains are just real. And I said I totally do not mind doing Moon Mirror Shield and putting it on top. Summoning Feck Veiler, cute. Double summon, also cute. I don't know what you're double summoning, but that's cute. Tribute for fucking you. It's got enough information to summon. You keep talking to one spell trap card in the field and destroy it. Cute. So, pretty much as soon as you activate your effect, what's your target? Just my random back row here. Eh, fuck it. I'll go ahead and tempest you. Get rid of my fox. Negate, destroy you, and pen on some of the monsters back. Like, this, this duel is over. I win. GG. And by GG, I mean not really. Slap the shit out of you. I have literally been in control of this duel the entire fucking duel. Like, that. that's game. That is, that's fucking game. Like, goddamn.
Attack game. Ah, so easy. <laughs> I said, I like using Magic Patches on Friday. It's good to unwind and just slap the shadow people with this good ass deck. Alright, people, we are back. Alright. So. Yeah, just. Mm. And that Fog King. That Fog King is probably just putting in too much work. Ah. Uh, Summon Cat. Okay, get your search on during the end phase. Get this Mirror Force. Okay, he's just gonna quit. But so this is Mirror Force, it's Cyclones at the bottom list. I try to get rid of my cat, search one phase. I'm gonna go ahead and search for an upper scale. So I can go ahead and mess up my pendulum scales next turn. Bromatons is gonna quit. Yay! Hopefully, it's not like this over and over again. They're back. Alright, hopefully, my opponents just won't keep quitting and I can actually get my duel on. Once again, opened up fairly well. Ah, I guess I'll get my search on. I said I already got my trap, so Fox ain't really gonna do much. Set these two. I'm not gonna equip the Moon Mirror Shield because I'm just gonna tribute anyway. Yeah, tribute to engage your play, and I'll hold on to the Moon Mirror Shield. Yeah, get my search on. What scale are you? You're two, so I need an upper scale. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and search for Raccoon because I can mumble summon Raccoon. Get my search on, and then set up my Pendulum Scales. And like you said, like usual with Magic Scepters, once my Pendulum Scales are set and ready to go, the duel is on. They said, how to beat Magic Specters? Break their skills. Always break their skills. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yep. That works. <laughs> that totally works, because I don't have any Magic Scepter monsters on the field to go ahead and block you anymore. <coughs> Alright, that's fine. That would have been a great card to have. Like, these are just a little bit too slow. That was just a little bit too slow. So, I guess I'll go ahead and normal summon you. You get your search on. Back row pretty much does nothing to me. And I'll go ahead and cook the Moon Mirror Shield and attack over you. Because that will always be 100 higher, which is just beautiful. Uh, you're scale 2, so I want an upper, another upper scale. Uh, yeah, let me clear. Alright, so. Go ahead and activate Crow. Go ahead and activate Fox. Pendulum sucking back my kitty cat. Equip my cat with the Moon Mirror Shield. You get my search on. Attack, attack. Like, everything is just fucking just mill house right now. Yeah, sure. I'd love to give my search zone the end phase. Like I said, it's just can't be targeted or destroyed. Like, you thought fucking going against, uh, what's it called? Mecha Phantom Beasts are difficult because they can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. If you have control token, I just straight up cannot be targeted or, or destroyed. Like, just like, hmm. Alright. It's gonna go ahead and form change. Maybe turn into, like, acid, I'm assuming. As soon as you activate acid, I'm gonna fucking negate you, so. Like, nah. Ah, I'll poke you for 100. Like, ah, your form changed. That was so cute. So cute. So kawaii. Yep. Uh, go ahead and search me. Well, I'm gonna punch him something back raccoon next turn, so. Really don't need a raccoon. Hmm. I really don't need you either. I mean, I guess I should go on the offensive. I guess I'll go ahead and search for Crow. Yeah, I'll search for Crow. It'd be really nice to go ahead and summon and get us uh, the quick play spell and then play it during my opponent's turn. So, this is my most vulnerable period, I must say. This is definitely my most vulnerable period. Alright. Okay. That's fine. Mm hmm. Ooh, Miracle Fusion. You don't see that played very often. So, who are you miracle fusing into? Another Nova Master. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. You're gonna try to change again? Like, dude, no, I'm not gonna allow you to fucking acid me. Like, you can really stop trying to do that. Stop actually gets annoying. 
Oh, put it on top of the deck. I'll draw it. I'll draw it. I would love to draw it. Like, stop trying to fucking acid me. That's really getting annoying. It's like, acid, 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 miracle fuse acid. Like, no, 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 no. You're not destroying my fucking back row. Depends on some of the monsters. A one. A two. A three. Yep. 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 And, uh, you can go ahead and get me Unicorn. Because I can just go ahead and take advantage of Unicorn like usual. You go ahead and search me for my Quick Play spell. I should get a use out of Crow besides setting up my Pendulum Scales. And I'll go ahead and Tribute Cat for Unicorn. Guess I'll go ahead and equip the Crow with Moon Mirror Shield because I don't really need to abuse it. Well, I'll definitely be abusing, uh, uh, raccoon. Attack. Mirror shield. I'm stronger than you. Attack. Attack. Get my quick play spell. Like it's all good. It's all good. I don't play a normal spell. I don't. I don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna tribute raccoon and I'm gonna summon you back. So I guess I'll search for fox. Like at this point, I'm just so set up in good and deliciousness that it's pretty much over. I'm in control. That Fog King, though, making it so you can't tribute your Magic Scepter monsters. Oh, wow. Then you top decks another Miracle Fusion. Like, it's so cute. Uh-huh. Too bad I can't be uh, destroyed by my opponent's card effects, so. Yeah. I have to hit you. Return you. to return you. And you're going to be like, ah, oh, I'm so zero fat. Like, nah. Yeah. Uh, how about no? <laughs> Even when he got the tits, I still beat him. Like, damn. Damn. Oh my god. Mm, damn. Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. Alright. Let's go ahead and get another victory. Hmm. Oh, there's that mage power that I wanted to try out. <laughs> let's go ahead and see how that goes down. Because I definitely wanted to go ahead and try that out. Wow. Do I have my scale set up? Yes, I do. Wow. Wow, yes, I do. I guess I'll go ahead and normal summon you. Get my mage power. My mage power. Wow, mage power. Go ahead and search me for Fox. Like, wow. It's about to be bad. I, I opened up really well. Go ahead and pop you. And I guess I'll search you, switch you out for. Hmm. Crow's not bad. Or cat. Cat's gonna get me searched in the end phase. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Crow. Whew, I opened up so well. Now let's go ahead and make this the last duel of the video. I got other things to do. Yep. And I'll go ahead and set my scale. Who's five? You're five. You're five. You're two. Go ahead and pendulum shulk and back you two. And you. And you. Hell yeah. No. Go ahead and search me for my counter trap. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, people. You ready for this? You ready for this? This is about to be stupid. Set my mirror force. Set my tempest. Set my cyclone. Mage power? Who do I don't plan on tripping? I don't plan on tripping. Crow. Boom! 48 motherfucking hundred. Holy shit. 4,800 fucking monsters that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Like, that's fair. That's fucking fair. Well, I mean, that works. I mean, I can handle you with my back row, but I already set my shit, so. That's fine. That's fine. Like, damn. 4,800 crow people. Because I totally plan on tributing Fox, re-pendulum re re summoning, getting my search on, re-summoning Raccoon, getting my monster search on. 
Damn. Damn. <laughs> 4,800, 1,500, that mage power now. I was like, let me try a mage power. I have a lot of background, but pendant scales count. Damn. <laughs> that, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I was like, fuck it. Let me try mage power. Let me try fucking, uh, fucking, um, what's it called? Uh, oh my god, what's it fucking called? Uh, Lunmir Shield? Like, let me just be in control of the fucking battle phase. Let me just have some beefy ass fucking attack. I knew you were gonna try to summon him and fucking try to, uh. Uh. Heavy Stormy. That was obvious. That was obvious. So, how about no? How about. How, how did that sound? How about no? <laughs> oh, damn. And then there's Moon Mirror Shell, too. I'm getting weaker, but I'm still strong. Okay, I'm gonna summon you back. Yep, 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 go ahead and scoop, go ahead and scoop. Moon Mirror Shield, fucking, uh, uh, fucking Mage Power. Oh my god, the Quip's too strong! <laughs> oh my god. Quip spells and Magic Specters, who would've fucking thunk? That'd be so fucking good, like, wow. Like, oh, that's fair, let me summon, like, a 3,000 plus fucking monster that can't be targeted to my opponent's card effects. Good luck, good fucking luck, good fucking luck. And Moon Mirror Shield, make myself always stronger than you, like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I might just put another mage power. Right now I'm ring two, but that was just too good. Mage power equipment. Mage power equipment. Mage power. Just uh, fucking over 9,000. Let's do it, people. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So good. Uh, like I said, I might make Mage Respectors in real life. Because this deck is just so fucking good. Especially with mage power and shit. Because the mirror match, how do you win the mirror match? Whoever has the highest attack. I have movement Mirror and Mage Powers. Do you run that in your Mage Respectors? No? Oh, then you're about to get your ass beat. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Yeah. See you guys back with more Daily Duels on Monday using the deck that I'm actually still working on in real life, please. Alright people, thanks for watching.